All right, circumcision. So, from an enlightened perspective, so let's face it, it's the only clear one with clear perception. Why did they do these things in, uh, you know, Jewish culture and a number of other cultures? Like we've got a lot of stories around now, but guess what? Until we've got our actual biochemistry fixed up and quality people, and we've got our nervous system connected to our reproductive system, and I mean muscle, not a bucket load of mucus plaque because there's kilos and meters and tens of meters and some people 20 kilos of black mucus plaque in their body so they don't know what's there and by, by let's have a look at why they did it rather than coming from the perception of our own masculine and feminine stories that have got so much reproduction in our entire lives up the whole system to be sent out on a regular basis until we clear up that area it takes a while you got to get through the gut and fix it up i mean hygiene was always the big one why hygiene in the depths of the subtleties of the body is the key factors so if we've got a spot that doesn't get clean or doesn't get any air or doesn't get any oxygen or doesn't get any nervous system or any cleanliness there what happens in nature if something doesn't move it gets viruses, bacteria, mold, fungus, and parasites on it. Uh, and with black mucus plaque throughout the gut, and a whole lot of heavy metals and density and all sorts of drug residue and alcohol, and all sorts of whatever we put in our bodies over our whole lives, we're essentially got a black devil cock. Parasites, serpent symbolism. And that's the devil. And we're going to pass that on to our lovers and our partners and our children. We're walking around that with our masculinity or femininity that way. Guess what? Not going to be helpful at all. We're going to recreate that and reproduce it through our entire system the entire time. So if there's, I mean, and multidimensional orgasmic bliss for minutes, rather than, you know, five or ten seconds stuck here, always does not happen because it's too filthy there's no nervous system it's not clean it's just not going to happen so for my friends and clients with conscious conception uh, arrangements that we have i want at least a year if not three to clean up the whole body and the whole system so then we can pass on creating a lineage from our our children and pass that on through our sexuality and our spirituality to become more enlightened beings and a heart from a much higher consciousness and because if, if we don't, we just pass it on to our children and then we're going to have to have all of our problems that we passed on through our biochemistry and our garbage reflected to them. We're going to have to help them through it and that's an external source. And then they're going to have to go through all that same stuff again. That doesn't seem like a very nice gift to give to them, does it? But if we can clean up our body and ideally get to at least third eye or enlightened, then we pass on beautiful gifts from a wonderful biochemistry without all the emotional and mental disorders and diseases, because we've got a bucket load, tens of twenty thousands of them in our bodies, we just don't realise it because the body's not in good condition, the nervous system's not connected to it. Wouldn't that be amazing to give that lineage and actually create spiritual masters from our beautiful creative energy? Yeah, totally. But, you know, that's up to individual full responsibility. And of course, if we have to, basically if we have to ejaculate, we're essentially getting rid of the mucus plaque and the critters and stuff in there. So I'm cool with that for a while, but what we want to do is get our, our body in such a condition where we don't need to. Because if we're walking around with a cock that needs to get off every, you know, every few minutes or every few hours on a daily basis, well, that's because we've got a lot of gunk there we need to get 10 seconds of happiness and pleasure because our kidneys are screwed because that's where they're connected to through the urethra. So if our kidneys are black and screwed with all this black mucus plaque and things we have in our body and we've got a black devil cock, then of course we need to clean it and get it off. But it's very much a waste of energy and if we're only going to get 10 seconds of pleasure out, is it really worth it? But, you know, that's the happiness level and the fear level that people are coming from. So, circumcision. Yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate. My mum parents did it for me. I didn't, really, I didn't have a choice, but um, yeah, it seems to work out pretty well. Extra sensitivity is pretty helpful. So, black devil cock or powerful penis? Choices.